ajenda yetu ajenda ya Kenya kwanza as much as it may have the challenges our agenda is to revive the economy mimi nikisema niseme hapa ati nitoe hesabu ya yale tuliona ya yale tulipata wakati tulichukua serikali mtashangaa but that shall be for another day because the debt levels the debt margin shida ambayo tulipata shima ambayo iko pale i can tell you it is a very serious matter na to talk kwa shimo we must stop digging and to stop digging we will have to go through some difficulty because we have to stop digging and be able to revive the economy and i appreciate the young people who are speaking it's a tight moment it's a difficult moment it's a difficult moment no doubt about it but i can assure you that we shall not abandon the good cause and we shall not deviate from focusing on what is required atu kiwa mugonjwa you must take the medicine and some of the medicine sometimes is bitter sometimes it's painful but if we have to heal if we have to recover from the illness we shall have moments when we swallow that bitter pill but kenya shall stand kenya shall be united and we shall all succeed ni vizuri tufahamu kwamba mmoja wetu ndugu wetu kutoka eneo hii amefanya kazi ya ajabu katika taifa letu a very significant development katika hali ya kujaribu kurekebisha uchumi katika taifa letu Kenya 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 ina inazungumza na marafiki inazungumza na marafiki kutoka mataifa tofauti na mimi nataka niwaambie kwamba Kombudo has been the chief negotiator for trade arrangements kwa taifa la Kenya Kombudo has been the chief negotiator wakati serikali ya Kenya ina negotiate na European Union 27 countries and through his effort under the guidance of the president kombudo has delivered the economic partnership agreement with the european union <laughs> hii ni kitu very significant na kile ame deliver kwa kifupi unaweza keti ndugu kwa kifupi ni kwamba ameweza kuhakikisha kwamba serikali ina negotiate kuwa na tariff free yani duty free exports to the european unions na tena kuwa na quota free yani tunaweza export as long as they have demand we can export kwa hivyo mimi nasema hivyo kwa sababu with this agreement if it is processing of fish if it is processing of horticulture this agreement has now opened the door for kenya for fish from lake victoria to go to the european union 27 countries duty free and quota free to earn revenue for the people of this region kwanza nataka muniangalie vizuri hivi karibuni hivi karibuni we shall be surprising you with some very important news and pleasant i will not say any more nawaachia hapo kwa sasa but muniangalie vizuri kabisa si nimesema nikiwa hapa Muniangalie vizuri. Nimesema kitu. Nataka tujue kwamba tunahitaji security, tunahitaji umoja. Tunahitaji watu wetu wakae kwa amani. Mimi nataka niwaambie 
Kenya pia inahusika sana kuleta amani katika mataifa jirani. Tuko na shida Sudan. Tuko na shida South Sudan. Tuko na shida ambayo inatokea katika eneo hizi zote. And we need to be united so that we can tackle these issues kwa mambo ya diplomasia, kwa mambo ya kuhakikisha kwamba tunaelekea katika njia iliyo sawa. Na mimi nawasihi sana viongozi wote kutoka mashinani na hata viongozi wa kidini wakiongozwa na bishop na wengine ambao ni wa dini kwamba as we tackle these issues let us not lose focus that paramount to all we need peace because in war there are no winners in war there are no winners and in peace there are no losers in war there are no winners and in peace there are no losers na hapa naelekeza ombi langu kwa haswa the leadership of the church and the whole community teknolojia ni nzuri social media ni nzuri lakini ni vizuri pia tutambue kwamba kuna mafisi wameingia kwa hiyo social media there are predators who have moved into the social media na wanasumbua watoto wetu they are luring our young children both boys and girls are being lured through the social media and we are beginning to see some of them losing their lives katika hiyo hali so i really want to appeal to the leadership of the church and more so to even the kayo as they speak here because they'll speak this language the youth they must send a message that in the social media we have predators watu wanadanganya watoto wetu wasichana they go into some arrangement they have never met this person wanamaliza online alafu anajiingiza kwa shida pahali pengine let us be careful let us caution our young children that as much as we embrace technology as much as we embrace better communication let us be careful kwamba tusiingie kwa shida ama kwa communication ambayo inaweza leta madhara kwa maisha ya watoto wetu na maisha yetu nimepata nimeuliza kidogo kuna mambo gani nimeambiwa kuna bondo liunda road ambayo bado contractor alikuja akakaa kidogo na kazi bado inaendelea tunataka tusukume wamalize namna hiyo nimeambiwa kuna goye bridge daraja ambayo inasumbua tena hiyo contractor amezembea kwa hivyo mimi nataka niambie ndugu zetu kwamba huo ujumbe nimepata on the ground na ndio kwa sababu tumekuja hapa wakati tunapata maombi pia tunasikiza wananchi wanasema namna gani kwa hivyo ujumbe wangu ni kwamba nitaenda kufuatilia kwa sababu ni lazima wamalize kazi yao this is not a small achievement this is a very significant achievement na ndio kwa sababu nilisema ni vizuri niseme haya kwa sababu kubadilisha uchumi ni lazima tuwe na mbinu na strategy na strategy moja ni kuhakikisha kwamba kuna serious trade agreement wakati huu tukizumuza Kenya inazumuza sasa na Amerika na yeye pia ndio chief negotiator kukua kupata ile wanaita strategic trade and investment partnership na United States tunafanya negotiation tunataka tuwe na trade and economic partnerships comprehensive economic partnership agreements na you, gulf countries you, you, you are, uae na zengine and this is what is going to transform our economy ikiwa sasa with those agreements tunafungua milango wakulima wetu wafanye biashara wetu na wengine waingize mali yao katika hizo nchi 
This is significant and it is important that we acknowledge that it is a process. So those are the programs that we have as a government. We want to sort out roads, we want to sort out water, we want to sort out electricity, we want to empower our women, we want to empower our youth. That is the agenda that we have for this region. In the Ministry of ICT, which I head, we are going to set up a digital hub in each and every ward in this country. And I've been asked by the President to do that. We are going to ensure that in each and every ward, we set up a digital hub. Wakati tulichukua serikali, mimi nilikuwa mmoja wa kwanza kuambia kwamba tutakuwa na shida. Nilisema hivyo. Nilisema kwamba mimi kama mmoja ambaye alikuwa Minister for Finance katika taifa letu la Kenya. Nilikuwa nimeona hesabu ya taifa letu na nikajua kwamba kuna madeni mazito na shida na shida itakuja na hiyo shida kulipa itatuumiza sisi wote. I said this and I repeat it here and I say there is no walk in the park. Tutaumia lakini we shall succeed. There is hope at the end of the road. Hiyo sawa sawa. And I like this debate. I like the debate because it is it means that we are all alive to what is happening. And I can tell you that we are going to work through the difficult times and you will see the difference. This again nasema muniangalie vizuri you shall see it.